hello traders welcome to another exciting video on trading channel in this video we're going to be showing you guys how to get your binance testnet api keys for our crypto sport trading framework right so many trading platforms or brokers kind of offer a kind of demo platform or a testnet okay where people can actually trade uh, demo accounts in a simulated environment and the advantage of that is um pretty obvious okay because they are trading with uh, simulated money and um, they don't have to lose their real money okay so it's really good to use uh, for testing strategies for analyzing strategies and also to see how strategies perform over time okay without having to lose real money all right and you don't also make real money as well right it's a simulated environment and another advantage of this is that it works worldwide okay it's not restricted from um, from any country so you can actually use binance testnet if you're in a country that is restricted on live account right to test how strategies work so i'm going to head over to the website now to show you guys how to get your api keys okay so as you can see here this is um trading kennel stack and um we have our resources here, right, on the Trading Kennel stack where you can actually download our Trading Kennel framework. I'm going to be dropping the link in the description below, all right? So let's just head over to the website. This is the Binance Testnet website, and uh, you're being asked to log in with GitHub. So um, I believe many traders already have a GitHub account, uh, but if you don't have a GitHub account, you have to sign up to a GitHub account, all right? So there are some few things we have to note here, right? The first is the data reset, right? So once a month, the data is automatically reset back to default where you have your initial capital, right? So um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this whole um, login and collection of API keys, right? So you can also read um, down here to see what they say, okay? Data disappears. Uh, the reset happens once a month, all right? So, um, in case your account automatically defaults back to the previous amount, you don't have to be scared, okay? It's just a basic reset, all right? So, um, looking at, let's uh, proceed to log in with GitHub here. So, I'm just going to log in with GitHub. And like I said previously, if you don't have a GitHub account, you'd have to create one, okay? The process is easy. So, I'm just going to log in to GitHub here. All right, so I'm logged in now. And um, basically, when you log in, they are going to ask you to log in with GitHub, like you showed previously, and they're going to ask you to verify your account as well. So now we're done here. You can see I currently have an API key, and my uh, the description is a basic API key, and the permissions is treat, user data, user stream, market data, and a secure web socket as well. All right, so I can revoke this, revoke this, but when you create an account here, you're not going to have any api keys here right because you're just creating the account so what you can do is to generate a key right you can generate an api key all right you add a description here let's just call this second key all right call this second key and then we generate this key all right so you can see we have our api keys here and we have our secret keys here as well right so these keys are what you're going to be using in the future right to trade on our crypto spot trading framework right for the test net as well so you should save these um, api keys and secret in a very secure place because they won't be shown ever again all right it's not like any uh, it's not like the live net where you can actually preview them they won't show up again so make sure you save them properly right so i would see you in the next video Bye for now.